Do you want to use your code editor like a pro and how you can save your lots of time while coding? Welcome to Creative JE. Creativity is everything. What's up everybody? In this video, I will be showing you how to use code editor with all the tips and tricks included. Shivam is here, so you don't need to go anywhere. Let's get started. Sublime Text, the most popular code editor. Just visit sublimetext.com. It's free. You can download it for your OS. You just go to file and create new files or use shortcut keys and that works really fast. Just save your document first with the file name extension. Here I am making a HTML document and now when you will type HTML and hit tab you will get the HTML structure that's pretty cool. If you will type HTML tags and just hit tab it will close the tag automatically. For shifting your paragraphs you can use control plus left square brackets for moving it left and control plus right square bracket for right. You can also add multiple cursors by holding control and clicking on the lines and for copying lines you can always use control shift D. It also allows you to auto select the same words and tags so just select the word and press control plus D it will find it and select it and now you can edit them when you will take your cursor in the tags then it will highlight it and you don't need to keep pressing backspace or delete you just hold control key and then press delete or backspace if your eyes are getting bigger to see the code you can always make it mini by pressing control plus and minus keys or if you are having a mouse then you can always rotate its nose by holding control to make your size bigger or smaller and if you want to comment the lines means it will be ignored when you will run it you can just go to the line and press control plus forward slash press again to uncomment it if you want a multi line comment then you have to press control plus shift plus slash and sublime doesn't support autocomplete for all the languages but still it formats your code and all the tips and tricks will work in any language and you can also manually change the languages here by clicking on views tab and then change syntax but it will detect it with the file name extension so it's better to save your files before coding on it for saving all the files you open in the editor just hit file and save all you can directly open your file in explorer or in your browser by right clicking and choosing what you like to do so as here you can see now we got the output you can close files open new window, revert files, close all files and many more from the file menu. If you want some random lorem ipsum text you can just type lorem and hit tab and if you want to view how your code looks in a small view you can see them in minmap and you can scroll to the parts of your code easily. If you don't like to view it, you can always hide things by going to views and hiding it. And as here you can see that our tags are moving like railway tracks. So just enable the word wrap and they will come down. If you want to copy a line, you don't need to select all the codes. Just take your cursor there and hit Ctrl plus C and then just paste it. For deleting or cutting them, you can always use Ctrl plus X and you can see more things in edit menu like pasting from history, sorting paragraphs and many more. You can also change the themes and color scheme and if you are working on a folder or file, you can just drag it and throw it in sublime. 
you can always use control plus page up down for switching tabs and to close just right click and remove folder for installing additional plugins you have to install package control it will take some time now you can go to preference and package control and click on install package you can install many plugins and themes from package manager let's search for emmet it's one of the most popular package just open it it will take some time to install you can search for other languages support packages also in whatever you are coding you can go to package control.io to see popular packages it will take some time to install this package so just have patience and restart the editor after you finished installing and now you can use this plugin so for using it just press exclamation mark and hit tab and boom <laughs> you got the structure if you will type the id name and hit tab it will create div element with that id if you want to create other elements just type its name followed by its selector and multiply them with any number you want to make copies of them you can look into the cheat sheet for more details new guys please don't use this plugin because it is not for you and all the links which i used here are given in the description now just install one more package called html beautifier you will have to manually find the plugin in option menus in case here this is in edit menu so you can use it from here or use this shortcut key you can also enable disable and uninstall packages from package controller That's all for Sublime Text. If you will go in other editors, all things will be same for you. Just the UI will be different and with more or less features like in Build File Explorer and Git Control. You can install packages easily in these editors. Let's install Live Server. It's easy to install here you can also find the description and how to use it after you install the package you just run it through the shortcut or use from package menu and as here you can see that it has launched the live server and whenever you will save the file it will reload it automatically in the browser tab Now look at the most powerful editor VS Code. You can open a folder or a file by right clicking and you can also open it from your command line app. Just type code and add a dot for opening it with the current folder and hit enter. You can use find and replace by clicking on the search icon or you can also use it by pressing control plus F. You can use words and regular expression for finding things and just type what you want to replace and hit enter or click on the replace all button for replacing all matched words and here we have a better git controller to see which files are tracked and which are untracked and make sure that you have installed git on your computer If you will alt click on a link it will open it in the browser if you will include a file which is not present in the location when you will alt click on it you will be able to create that file directly for getting the details of the element just hover your cursor on the element if you are coding a lot then you can also use a debugger for checking errors and you can see some of the extensions which i am using you can just search and install them from here or you can search on visual studio marketplace and just click on install now you will also get the option of auto saving file so just enable it and launch the live server and make sure that your html file is having name of index.html otherwise you will have to browse it manually 
as here you can see that we don't need to press ctrl plus s again and again now go to the settings docs of the live server and search for the port settings we want to change it from 5500 to something else so just copy the line now go to file then preference then settings now just paste the line which you copied now copy the settings and now you can change the port let's set it default port which is 80 and save it now restart the server you can use ctrl plus shift plus p or f1 key and search for your plugin options and if it doesn't work then change the port to any other numbers like 3000 or 8080 here this is happening because in windows iis server runs on port 80 so just disable it now it's working perfect you don't need to specify port now you can go to 127.0.0.1 or type localhost if you want to open this page in other device which is connected to the same wi-fi network just go to net.ipcof.com and copy the ipv4 address type it in the url of other device followed by colon and then port number auto reload will also work so you can test this in other devices too now what if you want to show this to your friend who is living in another country if you are using windows then install open ssh i have given the link in the description and if you are mac or a linux user then it comes pre-installed now open terminal you can use integrated terminal in vs code press ctrl plus backtick if you want to customize the shortcut keys install the key map of any editor which you like or just go to preference and keyboard shortcuts or press ctrl k and after that press ctrl s just search for the settings and click on edit now press the shortcut key you want and hit enter now you can use your shortcut key Open localhost.run and copy this line, paste it in the terminal and change the port in which your app is running and hit enter. For the first time you will need to type yes to install the keys. Make sure that your local server is running and now alt click on the HTTPS link you will get the website up and running and make sure that you have good internet connection because now your computer is a server you can run as many servers you want just use different ports and don't close the terminal which is running now just share the link to your friends whom you want to show and you can also collaborate it with anyone using vs live share go to view and show status bar but this is only the preview if you want to try it then you can sign up for the insider preview from status bar you can do many things like opening sharing settings launching live server seeing your cursor position changing language and viewing notifications that's all for this video guys please hit the like button if you enjoyed it or if you hated it then hit the dislike button do you have any questions please let me know in the comments and make sure to check the description please don't forget to subscribe and to press the bell icon to get notification and also share this video